Where in the US can you actually live your best life? Not where the highest salaries are and not where the biggest skyscrapers are, but where people genuinely feel like they are getting ahead. We analyzed all 50 states, looking at income, cost of living, rent, taxes, and overall quality of life. Based on these factors, we created the Comfort Index, a single score showing where an American can live the easiest, most affordably, and with the least financial stress. We're going to walk through the entire map, from the most comfortable states to those where life is the toughest stick around till the end. The results might surprise you. The formula is straightforward. Comfort Index equals income divided by cost of living, multiplied by quality of life. The higher the score, the more money is left in your pocket after all the bills and taxes are paid. This isn't a wealth ranking, it's a ranking of your real-world living standard. Now let's take a look at the whole country. We've colored the US map according to our comfort index. Green is comfortable, yellow is average, and red is tough. This is what America looks like when you strip away the illusions and just look at the raw numbers. Look at California. Great salaries, but the high cost of living and heavy taxes simply wipe out your earnings. With an average income of $78,200 and a tax rate of 11.9%, the cost of living is 148%. Your money evaporates the moment it arrives, leading to a comfort index of 320. Utah tells a completely different story. Here, your money actually works for you. Look at the numbers. An average income of $72,300, a cost of living at just 96%, and a tax rate of only 4.9%. Utah's Comfort Index, 789. Here are the top 10 comfort leaders. One Connecticut with an average income of $82,100 and a tax rate of 5.5%, scores 761.6. North Carolina at 689.7. Michigan at 668.34. Alaska, with a high income of $84,900 and a 0% tax rate, scores 654.4. Delaware at 640.2 Colorado at 573.9 Kansas at 569.0. Nevada, another state with no state income tax, scores 562.4. New Mexico at 527.5 Wyoming, rounding out the top 10 at 522.6 And now, the hardest places to live financially, Ohio scores an abysmal 180.8. Pennsylvania at 218.1.
Florida is a surprisingly low 245.4. Even with a 0% income tax, high rents, averaging $2,100 a month, drag the comfort score way down West Virginia at 289.3. Georgia at 321.2. Texas and California have almost identical incomes. Texas at $74,000, California at $78,200. But look at the cost of living, 94% versus a crushing 148%. After taxes and rent, the difference is stark. In Texas, you keep about 67% of your earnings. In California, you're left with only about 46%, same income, radically different quality of life. The coasts are rich, but they are expensive. The Midwest, or center, is simpler, but far more comfortable. The average income in the center is $68,000, but the cost of living is only 91%, pushing the comfort index to around 580. On the coasts, you might see an average income of $82,000, but the cost of living jumps to 130%, causing the comfort index to plummet to about 360. Rent is the single biggest killer of comfort. Average rent in New York City is $3,250, in San Francisco, it's $3,800, while in Kansas, it's just $1,150. And in Nebraska, a mere $1,050. Furthermore, states with no state income tax, like Texas, Florida, Nevada, and Tennessee, allow you to keep more of your money, saving you an easy $3,000 to $6,000 per year. Let's look at some unexpected leaders. Iowa scores 602. Nebraska scores 590. North Dakota scores 575. They may not be the trendiest states, but they are stress-free. Less financial stress means more life. Here is the final map. The north and the center are green comfort zones, while the south and the coast are financial red zones. The comfort index ultimately ranges from 180 in Ohio to a high of 761 in Connecticut. If you're choosing where to live, don't look at the salary number. Look at what's left over after all your expenses. Where life is simpler, the comfort is higher. Comfort isn't just a number, it's the freedom to actually live. Subscribe to True Stats, where the numbers speak louder than words.